Hi, my name is Serge and I work on Adobe's developer evangelism team. And in this video, I'd like to show you how easy it is to build iOS applications using Flex and Flash Builder. But before I do that, I want to show you a quick example of a Flex application running on these two iOS devices. This is an iPod Touch, and I'm just going to launch the application. And um, this is actually just a stock watching application built by my colleague, Christoph Kunratz. And as you can see, the performance of this chart is, uh, is just beautiful, even on this iPod Touch. Um, this even connects to some live data, so it will automatically update the chart as well. Uh, as you can see, performance is beautiful, even on this small device. This guy right here is an uh, iPad 2. And I have the exact same Flex application running here as well. Um, even go landscape again and look at some other data there. All right, now let me show you how you actually do this using Flash Builder 4.5. So here we are in Flash Builder 4.5, and I'm just going to launch a new project. I'm going to go for a new Flex mobile project. And uh, I'm just going to give this a name, my demo, and click Next. Now, the next thing you'll see is that we actually have a couple of uh, target platforms right here that we support in Flash Builder 4.5. So not just Apple iOS, but also BlackBerry Tablet OS and Google Android. I'm just going to go for Apple iOS this time. Um, so I'm just going to only select that. The next step is the application template. You can start from a completely blank template or go for a view-based application or a tabbed application. That's actually what this application is. So uh, let me go for uh, a tabbed application. And I'll add another tab here as well, something like that. Then you select whether or not your application will automatically reorient to landscape and portrait modes if you want to go full screen or if you want the application to automatically scale to different screen densities. Now, I'm just going to uh, leave the default here and then uh, click Finish. So I'll just create a simple little application um, with a simple label. And I'll add the mandatory Hello World label here. And that'll be my application for this demo. Because I really want to show you how easy it is to actually package this as an IPA file. The IPA file is the installer file that you can distribute in the uh, Apple App Store. So I'm just going to click the Release Build version, uh, or the Release Build button, and then click Next. Now, this is where it gets interesting. Because um, Flash Builder will actually ask you for all the certificates. Now, where do you get those? Well, you actually get them from the Apple iOS developer website. So let's have a quick look at that. So um, you do need to sign up for the Apple developer program, and then you'll get access to this uh, portal here. Uh, and you actually create a couple of different things here and download them to your system. So the first thing you'll need is the actual certificate. So this is the development certificate. Um, you can just download that from, the, from this page right here. Um, and then you add all your devices. Um, so I have a couple of devices here. Uh, if you work with colleagues, you, you can add the device IDs right here um, in the uh, developer website. The next step is that you create an application ID so that um, you can actually uh, refer to the correct provisioning files and things like that. So let's quickly do that. And I'll call this, um, what did I call it? My demo, I think. And I'll add that one as well. The next step is your provisioning certificate. And again, uh, that's where you set this up. Uh, I'm just going to go for a new profile and then give this a name as well, my demo. I'm going to use my certificate, my code signing certificate, and then select the application ID that I just created. And that's my demo. Last step you do here is select all the or, uh, sorry, all the devices that you want to use. So I want to use my iPad and also my iPod, like that, and then click Submit. Then it will generate that provisioning profile and that certificate. And then uh, in, a, in a couple of seconds, you can actually just download it. And here it is. I'm just going to download that, and then I'm almost ready to go. 
Um, now, this is when you start developing your application. When you're ready with developing and ready to actually uh, submit it to the Apple App Store, you need a distribution profile. So that's almost exactly the same thing, except um, this is a different type of profile. So the workflow is exactly the same. All right, let's go back into Flash Builder and then select all the uh, certificates here. So I think I have them saved in this folder somewhere. There we go. Make sure that I enter my password and then also the provisioning file that we just created. Last step is the package type. Do you want to package a final release version? Again, then you'll need the uh, distribution profile or just an ad hoc package, which is what you will use uh, when you uh, start developing your application. Last step is you click Finish, and uh, Flash Builder will package your application as an IPA file that you can then just drag into iTunes and test it on your own devices. So hopefully that shows you how easy it is to build this, um, to build iOS applications using Flash Builder 4.5 and Flex. So um, check it out, and can't wait to see what you build with it. Thanks for watching.